Remember a while back when I did the blue and I said that it wasn't going to stay that color. I just wanted to ground it at the time that I did it. Well, while my mother's hair is drying, we're going to go ahead and go in there and we're going to go ahead and change that. And I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet. So I'm taking one of those sponges, like I told you that my husband gets me on the, um, what are the, the swimming noodles that the little kids use and I cut them up. And we're just going to go in here and we're just going to dab. You know, we're not going to hide all the blue in case we want some of that blue since we already have it. But I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to dab it on here. And let's just see what we want to do. Something's telling me I want to, you know, do some free-handed flowers on here. But because my mom really liked flowers, so I thought that would be a good tribute to her. Not sure yet what I'm going to do, but I'll figure it out. Isn't that kind of looking cool? When you do this, the key is not to go in one direction all the time, is to keep turning your applicator so that it doesn't um, it, it doesn't create the same shape patterns in a row. So you just kind of keep turning it around. you guys wow here I started off being afraid in the beginning and now I'm not at all anymore because I'm not trying to be perfect I'm just creating art Counting this, my canvas whole whole easel is shaking. I don't like how that looks and after that dries then I'll go over it with some fresher paint and make it more textured over there. Well, I'm going to finish this off. I'm going to let you guys go, and uh, I'll, I'll see you on the next segment, which will be right after this, and we'll see if we're going to finish it off or not. Thank you for watching. Bye now.